Magandang araw sa lahat. Welcome sa ating klase, Pilgrim Brown Baptist Theological Seminary, called Strefetation. Uh, at nandito tayo ngayon ang pag-aaralan natin ay patungkol po kay Pastor Apollo C. Kibuloy, the alleged appointed Son of God in the Kingdom of Jesus Christ. So, mga kapatid, sa pag-aaral ng cults, talagang sasakit yung ulo natin, lalo na pagdating sa mga katuruan ng mga ibang sekta, ng mga kulto, ng mga hindi sa Diyos. Malimali sila ng interpretation sa Bible, out of context. Uh, to be honest with you, nahilo talaga ako kay Pastor Apollo Kibuloy sa kanyang mga turo and as I explore his website and teachings I found it as parang yung tinatawag na uh, puro kalamay lang yung doktrina hindi systematic okay hindi maayos um, so let's begin lesson 7 Pastor Apollo Kibuloy and the Kingdom of Jesus Christ Christ warned us that there would be many who would claim to be the Christ. In this lesson, we will examine one of these, namely Apollo Sikibuloy, the alleged appointed son of God. And later on, after the lecture, explore natin yung mga website niya. Yung website niya, apollokibuloy.com, titignan natin yung frequently ano, asked question yung mga madalas na may tanong sa kanila. The founder, let's uh, take a look the founder's background. Born of Mary and Joseph, tugma ano, in a small village in Davao City, Apollo Kibuloy or ACQ or ano, mother mother claims she saw a vision of the face of God smiling down from the sky which said to her, that is my son. So, according sa kanilang kwento, sa kwento ni ACQ, Kibuloy also claims that he started receiving revelations while he was in high school. Again, sa, sa, sa karakteristik ng mga cults, they, they always says na merong revelation silang na-receive. So, una, pwedeng hindi to totoo, Pangalawa, kaya pwedeng totoo to, pero hindi to revelation na nanggagaling sa Diyos. At malamang, malaking porsyento galing ito kay Satanas. And after attending a Bible college, he later became the National Youth President for the United Pentecostal Church. So, ito pong UPCI, ito po ay malaking uh, samahan po dito sa Pilipinas. Imagine, uh, matalino siya. Again, ang mga kulto, mga leader ng kulto, magagaling sila matatalino, okay so, naging national youth president siya ang kanyang dining ay Pentecostalism, kaya pag pag review mo yung mga uh, preachings niya, yung uh, practices niya, talagang Pentecostal na Pentecostal it was after this that he started to preach in the slums of William Moore, Agdao Dabao and form his own organization uh, by the way, this is from Wikipedia. The Kingdom of Jesus Christ, or name above every name in corporation, which is heavily promoted through its global ACQ Kingdom Broadcasting Network, Sunship Media Network International. So, kung ikita niyo yung logo na yan, right there, uh, focus ko lang, SMNI, yan yung uh, pagmamayari po yan, Broadcasting Network po yan ni Kibuloy. 17 radio stations in the Philippines and 2 newspaper Pinas and Sikat so parang Pinas Sikat pero dalawang dalawang title lang ng, ng diary yan so, kung di pa kayo nakita meron yan mamimi, namimigay yung mga member ni Kubuloy uh, Pinas and Sikat with the former internationally circulated weekly for followers in the North and South America Europe and Middle East Africa, Australia, New Zealand and Asia. In, two, in year 2000, Kibuloy also founded Jose Maria College, named after his parents, Joseph and Mary. So, yung pag-aaral nila dito, ng mga nag ay uh, scholar. para ni Kibuloy. Basic premise, ano po ba yung mga core message ni Kibuloy? 
Apollo Sikibuloy holds that both Jew and the church, okay, the church age, had failed in completing God's plan of salvation. So, naniniwala siya na ang mga hutsyo, okay, so, parang replacement theology. Meron tayong tinatawag na replacement theology. Yung mga grupong yun, naniniwala sila na ang replace ni replace ng church ang Jewish ang mga Hudyo. So hindi na nakikipag-deal, never na makikipag-deal si Lord sa mga Hudyo kasi ang daily niya na ngayon sa church. So hindi niya na siya babalikan. So parang katulad ng din dito. So yung church, yung Jew, Jewish, mga Hudyo at ang church ni replace na yan ng kingdom. Okay? Nag-fail sila dun sa gustong maganap ng ama na pin, yung may pinapagawa ang ama na kailangan nilang ma-overcome God is looking kung sino man yung karapat dapat but no one is qualified therefore siya yung naging qualified mamaya pag-uusapan natin which now will be complete through him as the appointed son of God so dahil dahil nag-fail ang mga hudyo at ang church so siya yung inappoint ng Panginoon, which was revealed by a series of revelation. Paano niya ito, paano niya ito nakuha? Through a series of revelation. Again, maybe ang revelation na ito ay totoong nangyari, pero hindi ito nang galing sa Diyos. A virus test of obedience on some mountains which he passed. So, dalawang mountain yan. Now, God the Father is bringing true believers into His kingdom nation, which... Apollo Kibuloy leads from New Jerusalem in Dabao in a conditional salvation that is based on full obedience to the Father and passing various obedience tests. Dahil sa pamamagitan ni Kibuloy that uh, yung kingdom nation dun sa Dabao. Some claims, ito yung mga sinabi niya patungkol sa kanya. I am now the owner of the earth. May ari ng mundo. I am now the owner of the world. I am now the owner of the of all souls on earth. I defeated Lucifer in my kingdom. Kaya nga, uh, uh, wala nang church age. So, yung ch- yung, ang church at mga hudyo, hindi nila ito nagawa. But, but uh, uh, Apollo Kibuloy did. The father did not adopt their names their names of their denomination or religions it's man made pero yung pangalan daw niya na Apollo Kibuloy ay kinuha daw ng ama what a blasphemy God adopted my name and he God made it his own new name yeah. an angel visit me and he said your name now is my name purely God gave me his name and he took my name as his new. The third testament which is the book of fulfillment is directed to the appointed son who is the new owner of the world. So let's uh, let's explore, let's expose some of his false doctrine. So in details hindi natin hindi natin masasalangsang lahat but I'm hope na sana mabanggit ko lahat. The church age, number one, the church age has been replaced by the kingdom nation, as I said uh, before. According to Apollo Kibuloy, God was trying to find a second son of God. Kasi si Jesus Christ, sa yung tagapagligtas sa mga hudyo. So, uh, sa mga hintil, wala. So, God is looking, trying to find a second son of God during the church age, but could not find any who would obey his test of obedience. So, he called Apollo si Kibuloy to usher in the kingdom nation to replace the church age. No, wala nang church kingdom na para mga Jehovah's Witnesses. Like the Jehovah's and Mormons INC, Apollo Kibuloy claims that the entire church age has ended. On April 13, 2005, the Christian system of worship was phased out. So, nagmula daw to noong uh, year 2000. So, five years siyang uh, sa mga bundok, dalawang bundok yan, kabog at uh, nakalimutan ko yung isang pangalan ng bundok. Five years, ang kinakain niya lang daw saging. 
So, saging lang, test of obedience. Meron daw mga test of obedience na ginawa sa kanya ang ama. So, yung serpent seed, na talo niya daw yon na pagtagumpayan niya. And then, kaya, no 2005, wala na yung church age. Now, the son, Polo Kibula is here. The pacing out of all this rigid system has been completed. There is only one heaven that is open, and that is the new heaven, God's new Jerusalem, where His throne of righteousness is found, is here. So, ang new Jerusalem na tinutukoy sa Revelations ay nandun na sa Dabao. So, sa kanya, ang book of Revelation tapos na. So, kaya meron siyang tinatawag na Third Testament. The spiritual laws that will be written in the hearts and minds of God's people will flow from here to all nations, To become the light of the Gentiles, but what the Bible teaches, Christ already was founder and the head of His church. We know that. That's why we believe that Christ built His church during His uh, earthly earthly ministry. Hindi po hindi po kung kailan man, not in Pentecost or kung ano mang mga age, and with the promise that the gates of hell would not prevail against it. It means, simply says, na anumang age ang mangyari, anumang age ang dadating, yung church ng Panginoon naroon pa rin. And it will finish in the rapture. And nowhere is it prophesied that God would find a second son of God who would start a nation kingdom in Dabao as opposed to Christ himself reigning from a literal Jerusalem. Walang propesya na nagpapakita o nagpapatutuo sa sinasabi ni uh, ni Kibuloy na maghahanap ang Diyos ng second son. In short, now the Spirit speaks expressly in 1 Timothy chapter 4.1 that in the latter time, some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. Uh, finding man sa kanila, but they were from the devils. Hindi po sila sa Diyos. Number two, He is the new appointed Son of the Father. Since the church has been phased out, wala na ang church. Hindi sila naniniwala na may church. Pa rin niya yun. Christ as the head of the church is no longer needed. Wow! Hindi na kailangan si Jesus Christ. And Apollo Kimulo sees himself as the appointed Son of God who has been called to usher in God's kingdom for the Gentiles. Parang nga yan. Si Jesus Christ, Christ siya, tagapaglitis sa mga Hudyo, at sa mga hentil, si Apostol, Apostol si, I'm sorry, uh, Apollo Kibuloy, ang tagapagligtas. Hindi na kailangan si Kristo. He is the new appointed son of the Father. We read from, the, from their website. He heard the Father's voice again, and the voice of the Father said, Now you are my son. That means the father delivered the sonship to his appointed son. That is when he became an appointed son, as soon as the appointed son was chosen. Jesus Christ ceased to be the begotten son of God. So huminto na. Ito ang paniniwala niya. He now sits on the positions of the almighty father, while the son will be the inheritor and the heir of the father. He was able to produce a son out of Apollo Kibuloy in fulfillment of Revelation 21 verse number 7 which says, He that overcome it shall inherit all things and I will be his God and shall be my son. Wow, what a blasphemy. Jesus Christ is the eternal son of God the Father. But Apollo Kibuloy says na nahinto na yung pagiging anak ni Jesus Christ. What the Bible teaches, siyempre, alam natin, mali ang pagkakagamit ng Revelation chapter 21. Hindi pa ito nangyayari. Um, while he cites Revelation 21 verse 7 as his proof text that by overcoming all things, he became the Son of God. Ano yung all things na sinasabi niya? Na pagtagumpayan niya yung uh, uh, kasalanan, pagtagumpayan niya si Lucifer, so hindi na siya natitempt ng kung sino mang mga babae. Lahat ng karumihan na overcome niya. The author of the same book also wrote that he that overcame the world will believe that it is Jesus and not Apollo is the son of God. 
Also, God never gave us a second son. Meron lang isang anak ang Diyos Ama, and that is the Lord Jesus Christ. God gave His only begotten Son. God sent His only begotten Son, the only begotten Son of God. Tatlong beses inulit sa New Testament. And the passage he quoted of Revelation 21 verse 7 has not happened yet. So sa kanya, tapos na Revelation eh. It takes place after the new heaven and the new earth. Not now. So like I and see, Manalos using Revelation chapter 7 to Isaiah chapter 46 verse number 11. Okay? Cults just twist the scripture to gain credibility. Okay? Para magkaroon lang sila ng credibilidad. Number 3, false doctrine exposed. He is the new voice of the Father. So kung ano yung sasabihin ng Ama, siya yung mouthpiece at mangyayari yun. From their website, from their Facebook account, Julie, when I say he has appointed me to be the to be his son, that means that he is here living inside of me. The words I speak unto you, I speak not of myself, but the Father that live it in me. I am the voice of the Father. Grabe no? Sa New Testament, we are sealed. Those true believers will sealed by the Holy Spirit, by the Holy Ghost. But Kay Kibuloy, nag-dwell talaga sa kanyang ama. The alleged voice of the father failed. Okay, merong uh, El Soriano of dating daan 2005. Sabi niya, after ilang months lang, magkakaroon daw ng sakit na si si brother Eli Soriano na wala, hindi makakapagpagaling. Okay? Pero, lumipas ang siyang taon, hindi nagkaroon si Soriano ng anumang sakit sa balat o kung anumang sakit yung tinutukoy niya na hindi daw kayang lumalay. So, hindi nangyari. False prophet. The alleged voice of the father failed number two. Kay Gibu Jotoro would be the next president in the May 2010 election. So, so nagsabi siya na si Gibu ang mananalo pero ang nangyari, natalo si Gibu. So, meron siyang tinatawag na Third Testament. Ito ang sabi niya. My book of fulfillment will be a book that will lead all of you. It is a book that talks about the life of the Son and the fulfillments of the Father's life in the life of the Son. So, siguro ang tinutukan niya dito yung history o yung kwento mula pagkabata niya kung paano ni-reveal. Okay? Uh, story siguro kung paano siya tinawag lahat ng mga uh, lahat ng mga kasinuling, kasinungalingan siguro. And I don't know when it will be written, but it's going to start right now, and it's just a matter of putting into writing. Just wait for it because it will have a guide, and it will be a book. It will be a guide to all children of the father in their walk from the beginning to the end. So, and June 18, 2018, the base of the book of fulfillment, the Third Testament, which says that the Son is the new owner of the world and not Satan anymore. But, the Bible makes it perfectly clear that the Pocolo Kelibuloy is not this prophet. So, maling-mali, yung pagkakagamit niya ng Hebrews chapter 1 verse number 1 to verse number 2. God, who at sundry times and in diverse manner is spake in the past unto the fathers by the prophets, had in these last days, so sinasabi-sabi ng Bible, ito yung mga huling araw to, spoken unto us by His Son. Yung yung tinutukoy dito na by His Son, hindi po kung sino mang tao. Walang iba po kundi si Jesus Christ. Whom He appointed the hell of all things by whom also He made the worlds. So, sobrang mali ng pagkakagamit ng scripture, mga kapatid. So, siya daw yung tinutukoy sa verse na to na magmamana ng lahat ng bagay by whom also He made the worlds. So, kung gagamitin niya to Ini-slice-slice lang kasi nila yung mga verses eh. They just believe the part but not the whole. Okay? Papaano yung by whom also he made the words? So sa pamamagitan ba ni Kibuloy, ginawa ang mundo? Hindi po. Sa pamamagitan po ni Jesus Christ. This son was the creator and Apollo Kibuloy is not the creator. So, so sad na marami siyang naloko with 6 million. It also makes it clear that there is no third testament that is claiming he is writing. 
Sabi ng Bible, kung dadagdagan mo, dadagdag, idadagdag ng Diyos ang lahat ng salot. Kung babawasan mo, uh, the, uh, the scripture cannot be broken, but the word of the Lord endure it forever. So, nung nasulat ang book of Revelations, wala ng writings, wala ng, uh, it is completed, it is complete. Wala na. Wala ng mga Third Testament pa na tinatawag. Number, number four, he is the new mediator between God and man. Siya ang tago, bagong tagapamagitan kasi nga nagsist na si Jesus Christ. Eh. Paupo po na lang si Jesus Christ dun sa langit. Siya na yung bagong nagkapagligtas. From the official website we read, when he was in the position of the Son, this referred to him in the Jewish setting as the Son of God. Now in the Gentile setting, I have inherited the sonship and everything that pertains to the Son. So, ano yung ibig sabihin ng inherited? Oh, ano yung sumapi sa'yo? Sumapi yung... So, magulo. Merong mga ibang tao na si... Tinatawag na mga beliefs na yung spirit na ganito, reincarnation, sumapi sa ganito, hanggang mapunta sa kanya, mapunta kay Jose Rizal, hanggang mapunta sa isang matalino na tao. So, um, let's continue. But if you want to see the Father, you must pass through me first. Gusto mo maligtas, kailangan maniwala ka sa kanya. I am his son, join me and I will tell you what, he, what pleases him. When I say he has appointed me to be his son, that means that he is here living inside of me. The words that I speak unto you, I speak not of myself, but the fathers that live it in me. Yet, the Bible states, For there is one God, and one mediator between God and man, men, the man Christ Jesus. Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Wala pong exception dyan. Absolute po yan ang sinabi ng Panginoon. Ano mang, kahit sa tribulation, sa pa rin ng tagapagigtas, walang anuman, o walang sino man, kung sino man ang magiging tapagligtas, naging tagapamagitan ng Diyos at sa tao, kundi si Jesus Christ lang. Next, number five, replacing Christ as the new son of God, He now has power to grant salvation. So, Kung hindi i-grant ni Kibuloy yung salvation, hindi ka maliligtas. When the sonship was entrusted to Apollo Kibuloy, he was given the power to give eternal life to whomsoever he will. So, basahin natin. Uh, hindi ko na nalagay sa PowerPoint. Julie. So, from the kingdom of Jesus Christ website, the reign of the Father through the Son that been, began in the year 2000 and the transition that took place. This is five years up to April 30, 2005. is now complete. Okay. He has matured His Son to dwell among His people. Mali, mali pa lang yung binabasa ko. Letter E pa lang. From December 31, 1999, when the reign of the Father through the Son was declared until April 30, 2005, there was five-year transition period for the Son ascend to kingship. When the Sonship was instructed to Apollo, Pastor Apollo, he was given the power to give eternal life to whom whosoever will. So, siya ang may kapangyarihang magbigay ng buhay na walang hanggan. But, the question, can there, be, can there be two saviors, Christ for the Jews and Kibuloy for the Gentiles? The question is, no. Sabi ng Biblia, uh, for there is no difference between the Jew and the, Gen and the Greek, for the same Lord over all is rich unto all that call at upon Him. Jesus said unto Him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father, but by me. So, malinaw. Jesus and the Apostle taught that salvation is only available to Christ and not from any other person. Ano po? Letter F. As Christ, He returned to establish God's kingdom on earth. 
Again, maraming doctrines na sobrang confused si Kibuloy. Lalo na po ang Church Age at ang Kingdom Age. Kibuloy is very confused in his eschatology. He actually believes that as God's appointed son, the Christ living in him must return to set up his kingdom during the tribulation. Who will be protected by a mark? Yet the scripture make it clear that when Christ returns to set up his kingdom, it will be different and it will be Jesus, not Kiboloy. So, so, what about the rapture? Sa kanya, naniniwala siya na ang rapture, kapag naniwala ka kay Kiboloy, yung spirito mo mararapture. Ibig sabihin, uh, makoconvert. Hindi physical na sinasabi ng Biblia that in a twinkling of an eye, we, all, we shall all be changed. So, the rapture is still taking place. Kapag na, yung mga maniniwala kay Kibuloy, yun ang rapture na tinatawag niya. So, napaka-confuse niya. Next, uh, ito po yung kanyang mga doktrina na in-expose natin. Letter G is the owner of the earth. Sabi niya, Lucifer's time in the world is over. His ownership of the world is over. I am now the owner of the earth. I am now the owner of the world. So, ang sabi ng Biblia, Psalms chapter 50 verse number 7, I am God, even thy God, even the beast of the forest is mine, and the cattle upon a thousand hills, the fall of the mountains, and the wild beasts of the field are mine. For the world is mine, and the fullness thereof. Tanging Diyos lang po ang may karapat ng umangkin ng mundo sa, dahil sa po ang lumikha. So, hindi po si kung sino mang tao. Salvation is by obeying the will of the Father. So, let's explain the serpent seed. Pag sinabi po natin serpent seed, ito po yung uh, similya ni Satanas. Ang katuroan ng serpent seed, uh, ito po ay tinuturo, naniniwala dito si Kibuloy, na nung day na tinemp ni Satan, si Eve, ay hindi po ito yung sa Apple. Ito po ay allegorism lang daw. Ang ginawa po ni Satan at ni Eve, nag-sex po sila. So, yun po yung serpent seed. Yun po yung paniniwala nila. So, kaya tayo ganito, kaya napakasama ng tao dahil sa serpent seed. Tayo po ay bunga ng serpent seed. So, kung gusto pa po natin i-explore ang doktrina ng serpent seed, you can search that in internet. But this is one of the belief. In order for you to uh, release, to be saved, kailangan mawala yung serpent seed. At paano, paano mangyari yun? Kailangan mo mag-repent. Kailangan mo sumuko sa kalooban ng Ama. One, one becomes a kingdom citizen by repentance. Repentance means you surrender the serpent seed by saying from now on, so parang magical chant lang. Pag sinabi mo to, maliligtas ka na. Father, not my will, but you will be done in my life. You will only do His perfect and will, and you will begin to live to please Him. You will, you live to follow His will. I am your model. So, siya yung model. Kasi nga, napagdagumpayan niya na yung serpent seed. Ang mga modelo, para mapagdagumpayan natin ang serpent seed, ay si Kubloy. So, pero po hindi po ito ang sinutukoy ng Genesis chapter 3 verse number 15. Okay? Yung serpent seed po na tinasabi doon ay hindi po yung literal na similya ni Satanas but we understand it as a forces of Satan and Satan himself. Hindi po nakipag-sex si Satan kay Eve. So, ano pa po? Maniniwala siya that the Trinity is three gods, three separate gods. Like most cults, Apollo Kibuloy also misunderstand the Trinity, claiming that it is believed in the three separate gods. We know, nakapag ang isang, kapag ang isang uh, grupo ay hindi naniniwala sa Trinity, it is enough to call the cult, to be called the cult. So, sapat na po yun para matawag sila na kulto. Now, ang, ang gagawin po natin, we will uh, explore Pupunta po tayo sa kanilang website. Ito po. ApolloKibuloy.com FAQ means 
frequently asked question. So, marami po to pero pipili lang po tayo ng iba. Uh, simulan po natin dito. If the rapture is spiritual, why are you still in your physical condition? Meaning, you are still corruptible. Does it also mean that rapture has not yet taken place? So, ito po ang sagot ni Timuloy. Before the rapture takes place in the physical, it should first happen in the spirit. So, spiritual. If you believe my message, whether you are, you are already with the Son. If you have accepted my message and you have repented, wherever your temporary body is, your spirit is already here with me in Jerusalem. Pag naniwala ka sa Kanya, doon nangyayari yung rapture. Yung spirit mo napupunta na kay Kibuloy. So, very confusing. Hindi po yun ang tinuturo ng Bibiya that we, in the thing of I, we shall all be changed from corruptible into corruptible. So, another question. Pastor, when we repent and the serpent seed has been eradicated from our lives, can we also be saved even though we are not baptized in the kingdom yet? Kingdom yet? Pag tinanggap ba namin yung mensahe mo, Pastor Apolo Kay Buloy, Uh, maliligtas pa rin ba kami kahit hindi kami na bautismuan sa kingdom mo? Again, so, napaka very confusing. Ang baptism, ordinance po yan ng church. Bakit po meron pa yan sa kingdom? So, wala po, wala po yun. Maling-mali po talaga. So, ito po ang sagot niya. How can you have eradicated the serpent seed if you are not baptized in the kingdom yet? Because when you have eradicated the serpent seed by repentance, you will enter into the kingdom of God. Paano ka, pag nandito ka nakatira sa Metro Manila, at naniwala ka sa kanyang mensahe, okay, so, ang sabi niya, na-rapture na yung espiritu mo. Very confusing again. Pero hindi ka pa rin makakamaliligtas nun. Kasi hindi ka nababtay sa kingdom. Kailangan pumunta sa Dabao para maligtas ka. Or, kung may mga... Sabi niya, kung may mga malalapit na uh, KJC, Kingdom of Jesus Christ, no, na mag, mga missionary nila, yun ang magbabautismo sa... So, to them, baptism is still a requirement for salvation. Next question. Ito. Kindly tell me the steps required in order to obtain eternal life. So, merong step. So, ito po ang sagot niya. Number one, you have to believe my message. Kailangan mong maniwala sa mensahe ni Kutuloy. Ano mensahe niya? Nawala na ang church age, na kingdom age na. Na maliligtas ka kapag tinanggap po si Kutuloy, pag naniwala ka sa kanya. So, at uh, isuko mo ang serpent seed. Yan yung mga core message na pinag natin kanina. Number two, you have to surrender and repent by saying, not my will from now on, but you will be done in my life. Para Muslim, paano magpa-convert sa Muslim? May i-chant ka lang na nasalita. Pero hindi po ito, mga kapatid. Come and find me or find a uh, kingdom of Jesus Christ very close to you and go to the steps or identifying yourself with our Almighty, our Lord Jesus Christ, through His appointed Son here on earth. So, maghanap ka ng kingdom. Number four. You must identify yourself with this death, burial, and resurrection of death. So this is baptism. Pang apat. Pang lima. Be full of knowledge. Eat from mana of revelation every day. Yung mana of revelations, ito po ay part ng website nila. Kung saan yung parang daily devotions na kanilang sinesend. Binabasa ng kanilang mga member. So kung hindi mo ginagawa ito, kung hindi kung di mo binabasa yung mana, Revelation every day na ako, di ka maliligtas. Kahit naniwala ka kay Bloy. Number six, do not stay as a baby, as infant. Dapat nag-grow ka, dapat talagang uh, natututunan mo yung mga turo ni Bloy. Kasi kung hindi, pag nag-stop ka, hindi ka pa rin ligtas. That is when you will inherit eternal life. Like I did. Again, sabi niya, siya ang role mother. Role model. So next, ito. Jesus Christ, begotten son, was prophesied in the Bible. But where is the appointed son prophesied in the Bible? Is it true that nobody bore witness of you, Pastor? Ito kanyang sagot. 
That is why you are very, very confused. That is why you need to listen to my message from the beginning to the end. Adam was first created son. He lost the sonship and the kingship. Jesus Christ is the only begotten son. No one was begotten but Jesus Christ in the Jewish setting. He was begotten by the Spirit of the Father. He was the Word made flesh. So, sinasabi niya na si Jesus Christ ay uh, kaisang-isang anak ng Diyos, nagkatawang tao. The Word was begotten by the Spirit, by His Word. The Word made flesh. is mission to take back what we have lost. What Adam and Eve lost in the Garden of Eden, the sonship and the kingship. Now, where can you read in the Bible that I was appointed? So, sabi niya, Saan mo mababasa sa Bible na appointed si Jesus? Again, si Apollo kay Buloy. Hebrews 1, verse 1 to 2. Sobrang misinterpreted. Out of context. Siya daw yung appointed dito. I was not the only one appointed. There were many in the church age that were called. That there will be appointed to become like me. But they did not finish the spiritual work. They became religious and denomination without finishing the spiritual work. So, pa, sinasabi niya na before pasikibuloy, isi lang sa mundong ito, naghahanap na si Lord na magiging qualified, na magiging second son na i-appoint niya na merong test of obedience, na magtatagumpayan niya, mga temptation, na magtatagumpayan niya, pero walang nakagawa nun. Pero nung isinilang siya, okay, na pagtagumpayan niya yung uh, mga temptation, naging model siya na pagdagumpayan niya yung serpent seed at siya na yung model natin at kailangan natin maniwala sa kanya at siya yung naging appointed son of God so ayan so hindi pa tayo nakakasang oras pero I hope na bago nyo po pakinggan ng lesson ay binasa po yung module nyo at kung meron kayong mga katanungan patungkol po kayo sa teachings ni Apostle Pabuloy just text me or chat me when reach me in messenger or comment down below para sa mga nagsisit in sa sa class na ito so wrapping things up sabi ng Biblia maraming mga false Christ and one of them is Apostle uh, Apollo Kibuloy napaka contradicting out of context makikita natin talagang wala sa Biblia ang kanyang turo. Mga revelations is it true or not? If it's true then it is not uh, came from God. If it is not then he is a very good guy con man. So manlo ako po. So yan ang sabi nila. At yan ang sinasabi pinatotohanan ng salita ng Diyos. So, merong problema. How long will the kingdom nation last? Paano pag namatay na si Kibuloy? Hindi siya eternal. Hindi siya immortal. Magpapatuloy pa ba ang kingdom? So, anong plano nila? Yung meron bang sasalo ng pagiging appointed son of God? So, magpa-formulate na naman sila ng bago nilang doktrina. So, so hindi natin. Kaya nga, Again, isang karakteristik ng cults ay sila po ay pabago-bago ng doktrina. So again, thank you very much. See you sa next lesson, lesson 8, Cults Repetition. God bless us all.